This is Angela Natividad with Miplog Video Blog, and I am here with Elisa Kreisinger and Simon Close, who just wrapped up the uh, SOPA mashup debate. Say hi. 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 So in the space of about a minute, um, there's a there's this idea called staircase wit that I really like. It's about um, you know when you have a thought after the fact, like after a conversation or a conference, where you think, uh, wow, I really should have said this or emphasized it more. Um, do you guys have a feeling like that? Is there something you feel like you wanted to say up there that you wanted to emphasize more? I want to say that I think that SOPA is a threat to artists and creators. Here, here. Because they will, yeah. will, they will make it harder for me to share my right. creations, my films. Yeah, I, I think SOPA is ridiculous and would set us not so far back that it wouldn't even be worth moving forward from. Jump in. You're yes, in. we're talking about what we should have said. Yes. <laughs> Hey Wendy. Hey there. This is Wendy Bernfeld who moderated the session. Yeah. We were just talking about Staircase Wit and what they wanted to emphasize. Can you guys quickly uh, encapsu encapsulate the core of your arguments? So we we took the we, we took the traditional media perspective mm -hmm. of uh, uh, record companies and uh, MPAA studios, the anti-piracy stance, mm -hmm. and basically felt it is a shooting oneself in the foot. Okay. Um, it stamps out creativity. That was your angle, correct? And also prevents creative marketing and innovation uh, in terms of audience engagement and having a new commercial model for uh, uh, promoting film and uh, storytelling. Okay. That would have been a yeah. summary. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Really we, quickly? We, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. No, go ahead. What are you going to say? Okay. Yeah. Really quickly, advice to producers and advice to content creators. What have you guys got to say? Uh, content creators fail and fail often and um, keep making, even, I mean I think that's true for if you're a content creator for a network or a content creator in your apartment. Fail and fail often, always share and upload your stuff and even if it's terrible you're in good company because most stuff is terrible. Yeah. Use the internet to talk directly to the people who are going to see your, listen to your, or feel your art. All right. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.